Now, we will check in with Sylvia Masters about the importance of the sugar cane festival and the industry. My dad was farming sugar cane, so I wound up obtaining some land and on my own began farming, uh, growing sugar cane. And I'll be honest with you, um, I love doing this. Um, it's not work for me, it's like play. I really enjoy it, so I don't, I, I don't consider it to be work. Ronnie Galsalan is talking about his job as a sugar cane farmer in Iberia Parish. The Louisiana Sugar Cane Festival is this weekend in New Iberia. The festival has been held every year since 1937, except during World War II and in 2020 and 2021 due to the pandemic. Sugar cane is, um, for Louisiana, is basically uh, uh, a $4 billion um, um, return to the state. Money turns over that many times. It employs about 19,000 people. Gonzalez says planting season for sugar cane in South Louisiana is going on right now. Sugar is really adaptable to South Louisiana because it can handle large amounts of rainfall. As we just experienced the last three months, we were having rain practically every day, and sugar cane thrives on the water and the sunshine. I did something for the first time. I tasted sugar cane. Chew it and taste the juice. Why? I taste it. I taste it. No, it's sweet. This is unbelievable. <laughs> First, been in South Louisiana how long? <laughs> a long time. Turning to the festival royalty, a new Queen Sugar is chosen Saturday evening. Queen Sugar, the 25th, talks about her reign. You are representing an industry that is global in scope, and that is a very heavy responsibility. And I think it is an opportunity to represent it with as much um, respect and joy in spreading the message of our Louisiana sugar industry. Reporting in New Iberia for Destination Louisiana, I'm Sylvia Masters.